Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. So guys, it is Monday, and I'm coming on because I'm going to be doing a little bit um, of a what's for dinner. Um, tonight is Monday, like I said, yesterday or Sunday, obviously. Um, and I made an Italian Sunday gravy, so we decided tonight we're going to have the leftover gravy. Um, I was going to leave it for during the week, but we just I'm just not into a, making a big meal tonight. So I figured, simple, just heat up the sauce, the gravy with the meatballs and the sausage. Um, hubby has leftover pasta that he doesn't mind eating, he said, out of the refrigerator. And um, I also have um, another, because that spaghetti, I made spaghetti squash yesterday for myself. And I made two, I mean, I made a big one, so I only ate half yesterday, so I'm going to have half tonight. So it's perfect. Jenny, I'm going to actually, I'm going to show you guys what I'm making her now. She wants like a quesadilla, a quesadilla but she wants it with lettuce, tomato, and um, cheese and stuff. So I'm just going to make her one of those, and she's going to have leftover string bean casserole that I have in there from a couple of nights ago. So we're kind of getting rid of this stuff out of the fridge, leaving the leftovers out of the fridge, which is a great thing to do. So that's that's what we're doing, guys. Um, so right now I'm just going to get cutting up this, this stuff for her and get this um, quesadilla prepared so when I'm ready, I can just stick it in, in the frying pan. All right, I'm going to move these down a little bit so you guys can see kind of what I'm doing. There we go. So I'm not going to cut this whole tomato up. I'm only going to cut... Um, a portion. Now guys, these tomatoes are, last year I grew my own tomatoes, this, this, this year I did nothing. I did no, nothing. But anyway, the farm down the street from us, homegrown, homegrown tomatoes guys, so I get them from there. Ah, oh, so good. So I'm just going to take a piece of this and I'm going to cut it into small pieces for Jen for her quesadilla. She might have two, I'm not sure. We'll see. She's having string bean casserole too she's addicted to so we'll see if one one might be enough but it's dinner so if she wants to i'll make her pill. Just slice these in some pretty small pieces this is, in, this is definitely enough tomato for one so i'm just gonna leave that like that i'm gonna cut up a little bit of lettuce Cut this light like this. Take this little piece. Let me go rinse this. lettuce this is good for a lettuce wrap because guys I'm on that low carb journey low carb slices just a little bit like that little shreds that and I'm gonna shred up some cheese Shred it out. And then I'll put the taste of it together and get it all ready. Um, how to put in the frying pan. The sauce is, the gravy's almost heated up. I can see it. I just want to make sure that the meatballs and the, um, and the sausage is warm, you know, warm through. I cut a, shred a little bit more of this because we always need shredded cheese, so. Might as well just shred our own shred it, right guys? So guys, guys, I have this thing on my tongue. It's like, it's not really a cold sore, but it's just like something that's there. Like I, I it, it's just so painful. And I went to the doctor last week for a checkup and I told her about it. And she just says to me, oh, it's a cold sore, cold sore. Once the cold sores come out, they, they, you just have to let them, um, like, live out their own thing. You know, you, you, there's nothing you could do about it. Well, let me tell you something. I'm ready to call her because 
I'm in a lot of pain. I mean, this thing wakes me up at night. Like, I'm sleeping, and I wake up to the pain in my tongue. That's not normal. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that. I'm going to have to, if it's not better in the next day or two, I'm going to call her up, the doctor, and I'm going to say, listen, you better give me something for this thing because it's crazy. It's crazy. Sometimes if you ever feel, guys, comment down below, if you ever feel you go to the doctor, and I think I've heard of this being as a woman thing more than anything, that women, women, women get, tend to get shoved like they're, their issues tend to get shoved off. And I really believe that that's true. I think that's true too. And I think it's true with women doctors. Like, you know, I feel like sometimes she just fluffs, like she doesn't like take seriously what I say, like what's bothering me. I think she doesn't really, you know, address it. And that kind of bothers me a little bit. So I don't know. I really don't know what I'm gonna do about that. But, but yeah, um, it's really bothering me. guys. I just thought I'd let you know that. <laughs> If you wanted to know. All right, so let's get the paper dish and get this. And I'll have to, I have to get the sour cream too because she likes sour cream on her quesadillas. If I had any meat, I could put meat in it, but I don't have any meat. Just, I have meatballs, but we don't want to put meatballs on. <laughs> well, it'll probably be really good. Okay, so I'm going to put a little cheese. Okay. Put cheese on. I'm going to put the tomatoes in the middle. Um, no, guys. I have an avocado which she loves. I'm gonna see if I have a I'm gonna see if they're ripe enough. Sometimes the avocado are just not ripe. When, when I bought them, I know they weren't ripe. They were very hard. But let's see. Let's see. We got this one. Oh, this one's nice and ready. This one's definitely not ready. I got one here and one here. I think this one is, is doable. This one is definitely doable. So let's turn this around. And let's put this through. Yeah, there you go. And I'm just going to take little pieces of it. This. It's definitely soft enough, guys. It's definitely ripe enough. Oh, she's going to be so excited. This kid. This kid is like a guacamole avocado freak. Freak. I love avocado. Comment down below if you guys like avocado. I love it. I, can, I just take them sometimes because they're low carb. And I, um... I just open one up and take both of the pieces, put salt on it, and just eat it with a spoon like it's like it's cereal or something. It's so good. And it's so good for you. I mean, it's a healthy fat. So I'm going to put a little bit of lettuce. And then I'm going to put a little bit of cheese. I'm not going to put sour cream on it because I think it'll... I think it'll... Um, make it a little soggy. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to put a little bit of cheese on top of it. And then I'm going to put the thing on top. Another one on top. And then I'm going to smush it down really good. It just helps it. My hands are clean, guys. Smush it down. Hmm. Well, this smell it makes me want to have like a taco salad or something. It really does. I don't just do that. I might just do that. We'll see. All right. So let me get. Um, let me go shut off that. Let me check that gravy up. And I have to decide what I'm going to do now. So guys, I decided myself to have a quesadilla. All this kind of gooey stuff looks really good so 
I'm gonna have a quesadilla and I think I'm just gonna have a couple of meatballs with it. It's gonna be like a kind of random, you know, eat what you want night. This is what it's about. It's fine, so I'm gonna start building my quesadilla. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put cheese on mine. Obviously, cheese is on quesadillas. Hello! Hello, Linda. Did I do the whole cheese? Yeah, I did the cheese. I'm gonna put cheese. Now, I'm gonna get some spicy stuff for my stuff. For mine. One thing that's good about it, it's all, huh? it's all fake. Let's get right back on. Okay, guys, so I'm building my quesadilla. I put cheese, tomato, and I'm gonna put some lettuce and I'm gonna put some avocado. Okay, I'm just gonna. Mom? What? What, honey? Okay. Yeah, I did. I did put avocado on it. She has avocado. She's, you know. I told you guys, she's addicted. And you know what the funniest thing is? My daughter went to Hershey Park yesterday, Hershey Amusement Park, and she won a, an avocado stuffed animal. And Jenny's like addicted to avocado, guys, so she gave it to her. It's the cutest thing. I gotta show you one, one day. I'll show you. Okay, so I'm heating up her string bean casserole. And then we're gonna heat up the other stuff. Okay, so I put avocado on mine. I'm gonna put lettuce, I put tomato, I'm gonna put some jalapenos, guys. And I'm, I'm just gonna have, like, I think, some meatballs and a quesadilla. This is a low carb um, quesadilla, by the way, guys. It's the low carb ones that I get from Aldi that I show you guys. I'll show you. 
these little cards. They're good. They have, there's, um, I'm trying to think, see how many cards. There's four grams of carbs, I think, in each one. Yeah. That's really good. That's only eight carbs for, for two, um, which is really, really good. All right, guys. So here I am. I'm having quesadilla here. What is this thing? Stupid thing always falls. Let me move this. Let me show you this quesadilla, guys. Look at that. Ooh. Okay, then I'm having three meatballs with a little bit of a good, guys. That's what I'm having. It's a very low-carb meal. Maybe 20 carbs in this whole meal. I don't even think it's that. All right, guys. So, sorry about all the mishovel in this year. That's what we're having for dinner tonight on this Monday night. Um... I'm going to go eat my food while it's hot. Don't forget, guys, to hit that notification button with the bell and everything else, the subscribe, the like, the share, all of that, guys. And I'm going to be getting doing some more videos of, of collabs and everything. There's some fun things coming up, guys. So I'll see you on the next video. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.